Hey everyone, welcome back to Crypto Cash. Thank you so much again for joining me here. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Another look here at SUI, this wonderful coin that never ceases to amaze. Uh, great news is it's broken its descending trend line and invalidated a potential for a short at the 188 range that we talked about yesterday, being a possibility if Bitcoin still maintains its lower range or goes lower to 57K. Now, obviously that hasn't happened if you're not familiar. Bitcoin is ramping up, seeing a lot of volume. Great chance we're gonna see maybe 63, 63 and a half uh, as a potential reality here for us. If that is the case, SUI is poised and ready to probably do something very similar. As you can see here though, SUI is moving concurrent in a lot of ways with Bitcoin. So while it is a stronger move, maybe a 2X move to the upside, you gotta recognize that when Bitcoin pulls back, SUI is doing the same thing, right? So the truth of the matter is if Bitcoin is faking us out right now and makes a run for it, SUI will probably pull back. So just kind of understand that and try not to naively believe this is gonna to go to the moon. There are a lot of unfortunate, um, I wouldn't say a lot, there was actually only one troll from yesterday and if you're watching, welcome back, I <laughs> appreciate you watching. Um, and basically just got really upset with me giving you worst case scenarios on how much lower the price could go based on liquidation. Um, so just clarifying that liquidation levels, yes, there's a lot of liquidation on the downside at 160. While that's present, it's not a guarantee. And obviously this person didn't watch the entire video because you recognize the macro is still very bullish for SUI. We're honoring our ascending trend line. There's no reason to consider shorting this coin. That's absolutely not a great call. Um, the best thing to do is consider adding to your spot bag as the price goes down, maybe dollar cost average. That's kind of been the common narrative here for a while with SUI. Having said all that, just, to, just so you know, and again, no offense to those who are super, super uh, emotional about this coin, 160 and 140 are like those two heavy concentrations. So if the price does pull back, those would be two areas that we'd probably see the candle wicks go to and then initially reject just based on simple liquidation. We do take a look here as well. We can see the delta has shifted. This is unlike other coins like Bitcoin, for example. We still got a lot of shorts. This tells us there's a lot of strength in this coin because there is basically an equal amount of shorts as there are, to as there are longs. It also implies we're kind of at that point of control, uh, or more importantly, the open interest area. We can see $2.06, 206 is that heavy amount of open positions at 206. So that kind of reiterates and reaffirms a resistance in this range here, uh, 205, 206, we talked about previously, having worked well in the past. So again, those are just some kind of things to kind of be mindful of and think about. Let's take a look at the macro and kind of work our way down. So. Once again, this is the overall trend here, and it's running fairly concurrent with the 20 SMA. That's usually a good trend setter. So with us being above that still, big surprise, we're still bullish on SUI. So again, had you listened and watched the entire video yesterday, you probably wouldn't have got so bent out of shape. I'm really only talking to that one person, uh, the troll that was uh, trolling our comment sections yesterday. So when we look at this here, what we can recognize, first of all, and I'll clean up the chart, post a new playout chart here soon with updated liquidation levels, because there are some to the upside as well. So keep in mind, we do have some upper liquidation ranges here, upwards of about 240, 250. So not proposing we're gonna see 240 or 250, but as that continues to grow, we have more incentive for the price to at least sweep that local high of roughly 220. So I think it's just an inevitability for 220 to be hit again, right? So just kind of seems like the, uh, the general consensus here especially how strong we are here so far today. Bitcoin can run towards 63, 64,000. There's a great, great chance 220 will be kind of the new low. Okay? So just bear that in mind. There's great momentum with this coin, uh, not a coin you want to trade into. Take a look here. And again, I can speak from experience with that too. Uh, we can see the RSI is tapering off, of course, but running uh, inversely with the price action. Generally, that is construed as a, as a bullish sign. As the RSI gets closer to 50, we could see another breakout. I think it's a long, we're a long ways away from that considering how momentously charged this coin is. But the general consensus is that we have a lot more confirming factors for the price to be more likely to go up than down at this point. Uh, again, trend strength is good. MACD is trying to converge. But we do have a stochastic divergence that's really standard and normal when the price action moves the way that this has. So me personally, the daily is overall bullish and I'm not going to read too far into it because the smaller time frames are really going to be the ones telling us what's going to happen next to this coin. And once more, if you look in here, you can see a fair value gap as low as about 186. So the price does end up reversing. That would be a, a solid pivot point. We've got our local high too. Basically that 190 range was that previous daily candlestick closure. So that could also be another good pivot point too. So I would say if the price does pull back, 191, 186 would be a solid range of consideration for long. Now again, Fair value gaps aren't always guaranteed to get filled, but it's generally an inevitability at some point, okay? So it may be months from now, honestly, it's hard to say, but the truth is that level is something we wanna you know, be aware of. And commonly when fair value gaps are filled, the price will end up just turning itself right around. 
Take a look here though, we are above 50 in the RSI. And if you can kind of look at this here, I look at this history. This coin spends very little time below 50 in the RSI. We, we've only seen it under 50 in the RSI for like two or three four hour candles, maybe only two or three times in the overall last one month's worth of trading. So we got one here, one there, and maybe one here. So there's like been literally been three times where we've kind of tempted breaking bearish and it never happens. Again, we're still honoring our sending trend. Make sure you understand that. We're still very much in good shape. MACD's converging trend strength indication is over zero. And of course, we haven't even topped out at 70 on the RSI. So it's a great chance this coin will run. Um, now again, keep in mind, me personally, the kind of trader that I am, I'd much rather wait for an opportunity that doesn't happen. Um, chastise me all you want, but I prefer to find entries that are a little bit better than you know taking along at the top. So if I were to, to trade this coin, I would say 190, 185, that range there seems like an appropriate consideration for a long um, with tighter targets, right? So I wouldn't take I wouldn't take a profit up here, right? 250 makes no sense at all. We'd probably want to consider profit at uh, you know the local high 204, 205, which we've already identified. Okay. So again, that's just a consideration for you, right? Those are just things that I kind of look at that I like to trade. Uh, but again, you know my success rate's a little higher just because of that. But I miss tons of opportunity too. There's always a trade off. When you're trading, uh, I'm sure that higher higher risk traders are going to have less frequent success, but they're going to have high, larger gains. But you also got to recognize they're going to have larger losses too. So it really depends on how you look at it. Anyways, hourly time frame, uh, we are fully confirmed here. There's no reason to consider um, shorting this coin. There's a lot of bullish convergence. Once more, you're better off waiting for a pullback that either doesn't happen or um, essentially just not trading at all. Because at this point here, uh, shorting into this coin, even though it's probably going to pull back a little bit with Bitcoin, if Bitcoin does, it's still not worth it, honestly, in the big picture. It's just too high of risk. Uh, I'm going to pull up some new fibs here. I'll go and post our playout chart here shortly so you can kind of see what that looks like. I'll clean this up. But at this point, I would not recommend a short. We are right here at this point, 6 and 8 fib level here, the local uh, resistance range. The price could very well consolidate here. We may even be at the beginning of a bull pennant pattern and the price takes off from here. So again, you're going to statistically find more luck at this exact time taking longs versus shorts. Just know Bitcoin is right on the edge of a potential fake out. If it pulls back, a lot of vaults are going to go ahead and suffer. So just keep that in mind. Uh, I think SUI is one of the only ones that probably won't do a, you know, won't massively hemorrhage, if you will. And that's again because we are based, we're basing that off of the macro here, letting us know we're still in good shape above the ascending trend line and above all those moving averages. The daily time frame still looks very strong. Okay, cool. I hope that makes sense. I described that correctly. Thank you so much again for watching. Um, and just comment below if you get a chance. Do not forget to hit the like button. Greatly appreciate that. And we'll look forward to seeing the next one again. Check out our Twitter, Telegram, and Discord. I'll go ahead and provide you with an updated playout chart. Uh, it's available here as well. So I provide that every time I analyze our, our videos. Thanks again. We'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself. Uh, be safe out there. We'll see you.